Good afternoon, I'm Chuck Wade, and uh, I'm going to instruct you on forward and inward spinning tuck. Um, first of all, the most problem that I notice is people try to get into the tuck a little too early, so they end up drawing up and it doesn't spin. And the idea is to finish your takeoff early enough, but getting your tuck the right time so you start spinning on the way up instead of jumping high and spinning on the way down. Jumping high is great, but you have to finish your dive high. That's the that is the um, objective. So I always think about and instruct my athletes to start a tuck same way as a pike. So you're going to have your throw, bend, and if you bend your elbows, you can do that, but make sure once you get to here, you're straight. And it's going your squat. Your heel's going to be down for a front, a little bit up on an inward. So you're on your toes on an inward. But you're going to get this, your head straight in line and neutral. As you start to push, you throw with your hands. You're pushing, you're throwing about shoulders straight out. You finish and extend all the way through your legs as you're throwing and then your head goes down. You don't want to grab your tuck until you're to that point. So you have to be at least 180 degrees from your torso straight down. And then as you tip your hips up and over that 180 degree mark, that's when you'll tuck. So it's kind of like doing a forward roll on the ground where you bend over, start to roll, and then tuck. Um, and that's just the basic of it. And if you finish that, if you finish your extension and wait to there, this way, and then you're going to get into it, grab your ankles. And I always say to grab your ankles or to aim for your ankles because then you can always grab in, pull in like a curl here instead of your elbows out. When you pull out, it's too hard to pull this way. This way you can squeeze, squeeze your heels to your butt. Makes it a whole lot easier. And if you aim for your ankles and you get a little high, you're still here and you can still pull in a really nice tuck. You don't have to worry about your heel coming out and slipping out. People who grab up here have a tendency to have this open. It's too easy to slip out. So always go for your ankles, grab it here and you can squeeze right in and make a nice tight tuck. Every tuck should start out as a pike so you can't tell the difference whether I'm going to pike or tuck until I actually do the tuck.